your favorite. No, I was wrong. Muslim, Muslim or Muslim? Muslim. Muslim, Magomayev. Magomayev. Yes, you. Sinyaya. Sinyaya. Sinyaya, yeah. Vechnost, Vechnost. Yeah. I like I I like actually how your this yeah sound comes up you know coming along, you, you, you oh, say it better yeah. Good. Uh, requested by Tatiana. I like how it's spelled. Yeah, it was not it was not it was not usual. That's nice, Tatiana Andrevich. Andrevich. <laughs> Dobrym czaje, pieśni przyboja, rozsłet probudzi. Serce jak druga, morze wstrzyczaje. Serce jak pieśnia, lici ty skrudzi. Was that? No. That was no. I, again, it's just like the last song. I think we li we listened to another song. I can't remember his name. And it was like the conviction and how he sings it. Okay. Yeah. Thumbs up. And like, I feel like you're getting that message across or trying to get people to feel, but um. It sounds too familiar. I think that's what it was. Like, it just sounds so familiar. Like, where it, the drum, the rolling of the, and that's not a regular drum. That's that big, doom, 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 like, Your tongue, uh, that was, I can't think of the name of it, uh, what type of drum, but it was just like, it was, I don't know. I wasn't into it. I wasn't into it from when it started. I, uh, I was not into it when it uh, when it started, but I definitely liked uh, the certain part. The, uh, the 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 first line in the in the chorus. I don't know what I mean. I don't know why that was so 
if there was so much power in that in that line. Mm -hmm. He was actually saying the C. He was think, thinking about it. C S E A. The C. Yes. Oh. And I don't know. There was a lot of, like you know, you could feel the power. No, that part. Yeah, yeah like I could feel that part. And again, I was like, okay, I know that a lot of people hate when I say that, but I don't care. I I was thinking about sampling that part. You know, when you sample it and pitch it a little bit. Ah. Um, add some drums, add some bass. You can get a different, yeah. You can get a dope track. You know, you know that, um, you know, Mob Deep, Mob Deep, right? Mm hmm. And they had this, they're one of their biggest, they actually call this like one of the best hip hop songs of all time. Uh, Shook Ones Part Two. You ever heard of this song? Say it again. Shook once. No, uh, that's my my daughter. That's one. Say it again. Sh Shook I'm one. sorry. Shook once part two. Yeah. Um, told my, told I'm, my. I might have heard it, but not the. I, okay. Like so, some songs I heard, but I don't remember the title. So, when I started, you know, like going into into the song, like learning more about the song, I found the sample that they used from the sixties. And I actually played the song. I mean, it was like I don't know. It was like a black wow. black musician playing, and the whole the whole song was like, okay, would I listen to it? Probably not. But that part, he took that part, the piece. Sampled it, you know, just pitched it a little bit, you know, certain frequencies, and then it just boom. It's one of the best hip hop beats now of all time. Check it out. So that about this song just also made me think, okay, that's a nice, that's a nice piece right here. Nice. And see, see, you thinking on the producer's edge, like on that, that tip too. Like I wasn't even thinking that far, but I just, I definitely could see what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I, 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 know I know they're going to hate me for that, but I don't care. I mean, just like, I really <laughs> don't, I really don't. Why? I mean, that's, that's, uh, why? Because they don't like well, your hands off the masterpiece. That's probably how it's gonna sound. Uh, you know. Uh, but then you get to create another masterpiece. You know. You know they have. You know m most people in the chat room right here. They they hate rap. Ah, there you there go. You go. That, make, that makes sense then. Yeah. Uh, that it makes, makes sense. sense. So that's why I mean, okay. Different type of crowd. Uh, don't hate rap. <laughs> No, because again, it's just like they, 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 they when, when you say rap these days, that's not what we listen to. That's not what me and you listen to. Yeah, no, like rap now, I had a conversation yesterday, rap, like the, like the DMX and Snoop Dogg channel. Yeah, like, that was, oh, right? oh, Ooh. that was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking yesterday, um, cause I was on another podcast, um, and he, the guy was saying, he was like, rap music from so you talking that's rap music from 10 20 years ago yeah right yeah and it's even still, in 25 so 25 it, Snoop, some, 25 some Snoop Dogg, right? yeah dmx yeah. came in 98 and yes. Snoop Dogg, he, he oh. performed like uh, murder was the case or uh gin and juice it was oh from like gosh. 93. Yes. right so how rap music then is still sustainable now to listen to Rap music today, so I understand the people in the audience, but rap music today, like the stuff that's out now, I'm gonna say it. It's trash. It's garbage. It is. Like it is. It's not even gonna be sustainable in five years. No, Nobody's in one gonna, year. Come on, one year from now, now it's not gonna be sustainable. Not at even all. a year. Not even right. a year. I'm thinking about some rap artists. I'm like, where are they? Even half a year. <laughs> half a year. Take a half year. Yeah. No, it's half year know, back. You just what what what, what songs do you I remember from 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 early 2020? <laughs> I don't. I don't, I don't either. I don't. Like it's not. And even the kids today that actually listen to it, they don't even remember. They like, they don't care because they don't care. They just follow. They they just they just be following the trends and that's it. They don't yeah. care. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of rap music. I like hip hop. I like old school. Rap.